So I went out to buy the new Lego Technic McLaren P1 and I was super excited to build it. But then something showed up at my door. This lovely Cata box was actually sent over by the good folks at Wave RC. Check out the link in the description. They actually have this set at $20 off retail making it effectively half the price of a LEGO 1 8 scale set. 230 bones, that's pretty close. Massive thank you to Wave RC for sending this over for my review. Get the box open and yes indeed, this is the Mazda RX-7 designed by Artemy Zotov, styled after Hans Veilside Fortune RX-7 from Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, baby. I just love these Kata boxes. Beautiful gloss embossed over a matte background. It's very nice. Oh my God, can I just say, I love this rotary design over the interior boxes. That is so cool. Definitely the perfect thing they could have picked to depict on the interior boxes. Looks like five interior boxes split between two hefty instruction manuals. But enough foreplay, let's get into it. Box one. Tearing into box one, we are greeted by some RC components and a ton of parts with minimal color vomit. I'm a total RC noob, so we'll see how we go here. I'm saving a surprise from this box to show at the end, so stick around. You shan't be disappointed. Well, you might be disappointed. Kata has this really interesting new part. Well, new to me at least. I think it's for the gearbox, but we shall see. Okay, I think I would have a better chance curing cancer than decoding these RC instructions. Like sure, I get it. The light should either be off or blue but what the hell does it mean when it's flashing red and green? Actually, JK, I figured it out. It's idiot proof. Let's get into the build proper. First indications of a function work smooth as butter. So check out this piece. It's so cool. The pinhole will be stationary, but plug in these Y-shaped pieces and they slot into the channels and now move as intended. I love that, that's so clever. And once this transmission is in place, everything works really, really smooth. Here's the final result. Look at this insane detail. On the gauge cluster, every single one by one round tile has a unique print. That's so epic. I bet rotary owners are particularly keen on a properly functioning oil pressure gauge light. Shouts out to the Apex Seal gang. Box two. Getting into box two and we will be building up the front end. Standard issue Technic stuff here, solid suspension, simulated calipers, and a simple steering rack works flawlessly. Kata even helps you line up your gears, which I assume will help center the steering. So let's talk about the engine because it is super unique and kind of amazing. First off, these chain links will form the rotors for our simulated 13B. Next, you completely close in the engine block. Build up the headers and the turbo, which looks smooth as hell, honestly. Finally, you slot the engine in and actually connect the intercooler to the turbo. This is perhaps the most complete Technic engine that I've ever built. Everything is connected pretty much how it would be in a real engine. There's even a the little battery. It's an absolutely insane design. I mean, 
Obviously it's not identical. It's not a real engine. But if I have to explain that to you, I think we've fallen beyond the scope of this YouTube channel and you probably need to seek professional help. Front end is linked to box one and the drivetrain works great. Link up first side and I think this will be a door. End of box two, the cabin is taking shape and I'm very impressed. The roof is seriously strong. Even the A pillars are well thought out. A place that is famously weak on Lego builds. A pillars, my God, they cannot get A pillars right. Let's do a quick test of the steering. Looks like it's Clever Pig 1 RC Component 0. It's everything functioning as intended. You love to see it. Box three, tearing into box three, and I had to do a double take as all bags are labeled four. Turns out I've cracked the case when I realized box two has bags two and three. So in the instructions, building stage A corresponds to bags one, B corresponds to two, etc. Turns out the C in CATA stands for cipher, and like, this is just so unnecessary. Like just use letters or numbers, why both? You're making it more difficult than it has to be. You're creating a problem where none existed, Kata. Just This section sees us building the rear end. No surprises in the build, very comparable to Lego. Connecting it to the rest of the chassis is likewise very simple. but we will connect the remote controlled rear wheel drive system now, which is bloody fiddly to get the wires in. It looks like we have done well as all systems are operating as intended. Fabulous. Here is the seat design. Nothing crazy, but I really think Artemy captured the 90s, 2000s tuner vibe. These look just like some aftermarket Recaros, RIP. Box four. We're into the penultimate box and starting to shape the bodywork now. Check out this awesome printed RX-7 license plate. And these super cool trans red panels, love that. The majority of this building stage is the rear bumper. I love the subtle shaping and the vents from the wide body kit. And as I've come to expect with this whole set, everything is just incredibly strong and sturdy. It's just in it. The build is connected to the rest of the car. We will also connect the rear LED lights at this stage, which looks great peering through those trans red panels. Here's the completed box four and the rear shaping is just clean, simple and effective. Box five. Getting into the final and largest box, of course we have got individually wrapped wheels. But here is the moment of truth. The tires. Drum roll, please. No Goodyear tires. What the heck, Kata? I am shocked and appalled. Not really, but I'm disappointed. That's kind of weird. You have the Goodyear tires. You've got the RX-7 printed on your box for the Goodyear tires. Give us a Goodyear tires, man. Just, what's so hard about that? Check out this cute little one by one printed Mazda logo. 
The entire front end is built beautifully, including a front mount intercooler and again, extremely strong. Secure it in place with the rest of the build. There you go. And let's get these lights going too. They work perfectly well. I also really like the shaping they achieved with the rear hatch and spoiler. It's just simple, sturdy, and works well. That is like story of this set's life. I was worried about the doors since this is an RC model, but a simple rubber band makes for an effective latch system. Works pretty good. Crack open the wheels. Mount them up on all four corners. And we are done. Or are we? Because I said I'd keep a little surprise for the end. And you are rewarded for your patience. It is surprise time. Let's go. As promised in box one, we have one more little treat. Check out this awesome printed display plaque. And now my 787B has a big brother it can look up to. So cute. And with that, we are done. If I can sum this up in one word. Nice. The build of this set is really well thought out. The instructions are very easy to follow. And as mentioned about 40,000 times by now, this thing is crazy strong and sturdy. I was looking around my room and I'm gonna say it, this is stronger than any Lego 1 8 set that I have. Ferrari and McLaren P1 notwithstanding. Yet, there were no missing pieces, no mold issues, no issues with clutch, no color inconsistencies, everything was perfect. Also, I want to mention there's no color vomit. All of the pins and axles are black and gray. It's one of those things that you don't really notice it because it's not there. But in Lego set, half of, there'd be blue, blue holes all over the place and little red X's from the axles. But here, it's just clean. The only issue I had with the parts were the wheels and tires. Kata, you're making Goodyear tires. Give the people what they want. We want the Goodyears. And the wheels, personal preference, but for five or 10 extra dollars, I'd way rather have something a little unique and special. Like the AMG one has special wheels. I would like this to have special wheels as well. It's from your master line. Like it should be top tier, but I'm nitpicking, but I am entitled to do so. It's my video, my channel. And so nitpick I shall. I guess some of that going. That's the content you come here for. Mm. And to tie into the parts, I guess a little bit, the RC functions work perfectly well. Uh, lights light up, turns, goes forward, goes backward, life is good. But as I mentioned in my previous less DIY video, these things are kind of for me, and I think probably for most people, these are shelf queens. Like these are just to sit and look at. So RC is kind of like me, don't really care. Uh, so I would rather see Kata take out the RC, take that budget, put it towards some more specialized special parts, like chuck on some nice wheels and tires, get us some more printed parts. You should be flying the friggin' Mazda flag with this thing. You should be showing off that it's officially licensed in my opinion, like get some little Mazda hubcaps, like that'd be great. For me, this set is all about subtlety and refinement. 
It's got all the functions you would expect on something like this. It's got the opening doors. It's got the opening hood. It's got the trunk. It's got steering. And it's also got that phenomenal rotary engine, the 13B that Artemy and Kata managed to put in. That is so damn cool. I cannot overstate that. No reliance on standard piston pieces. That I did not think that could be done in Lego and they did it and it's really, really cool. The engine bay in general is just so awesome. It's got the turbo, it's got the intercooler, it's got the piping, it's got a battery, it's just awesome. And everything is just packaged beautifully. This RX-7 is clean as hell. It is genuinely difficult to find things wrong with this set. I guess the shifter, the gear shifter kind of gets stuck if you don't give it the beans, but I mean, Lego sets that have the paddle shifts, they do that too, so. <laughs> I gotta say, when I first saw this set, I actually wasn't that crazy about it. When I think of the big Technic cars, it's gotta be like a supercar, something crazy, something exciting, something that really grabs you. And I am a huge JDM fan, but a Mazda RX-7 ain't no supercar. So this set really surprised me with how much I like it. I think it's awesome it is definitely going up on my shelf 1000 percent so thank you again to wave rc for sending this over for my review they currently have this set on their website for 20 dollars off which puts it at 230 so effectively half the price of one of the lego 1 8 scale supercars and i can tell you without a shadow of a doubt this is not half the product that you're getting. It is so much better. If you are interested in this set and have the means to do so, I can only say one thing. Do it! Come on, do it. Do it. Will you, will you stop with that? Do it. Thank you very much for sticking around through this video. Might be a bit of a longish one. I really appreciate it. It does mean a lot. And I'd really love to hear your thoughts on this set down in the comments below. Let me know what you think. How you feeling? What's the temperature on this one? Feeling hot or a little cold? Anyways, thanks for watching and be sure to stay tuned because I got a lot more stuff that I'm gonna be posting in the very near future. So thank you again. Hope you have a fantastic day and see you later.